So have you ever think about the space color in the day and in the night? Well, welcome to the another episode of the famous world and today we are going to talking about why is the sky blue in the day and black at the night. And before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe and also press that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload some new video. Alright, during the day, the sky has blue appearance because the sun's light is made up of rainbow colors of different wavelength. This means all these different colors of light combines to give you what is called white light. So when sunlight enters the earth's atmosphere, it collides with air particles that causes the scattering of sunlight around the sky. And the light with the shorter wavelength is scattered more by this collision than light with the longer wavelength. In this case, violet light is scattered the most, but human eyes do not see these colors very well. However, since the human eyes are more sensitive to blue light, the next most scattered visible color, you will see the sky as blue. So this therefore means that the blueness of the sky is from the blue light that is scattered from the sunlight in the atmosphere, which then enters in our eyes from all regions of the sky. Alright, so now let's talk about the black sky in the night. The black sky at the night that shows you the moon, planets and star is due to the absence of the sun's light. So the overwhelming effect of the sun's light reacting with the atmosphere blacks out the blackness of the sky. So this means there is no scattered light to reach the eyes of an observer during the night we get a clear view of space which is black. So the sky is black during the night because it is revealing outer space. And it is also important to note that the moon does not give its own light but reflect the light from the sun. This reflected light from the moon is not strong enough to have the same effect as the sun. So in the conclusion, the blue sky is the cause of particles in the atmosphere scattering and the shorter wavelength of waves from the sunlight. So hope you like this video guys and if you did then you know what to do and I'll touch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.